today's market, PC cases come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are very minimal, some are complex, and some like to be built as if they were going into outer space. This is the Fantex Eclipse P600S, a PC tower designed with two worlds in mind. Today, let's find out what this silent beast has to offer. A big shout out to overclockers.co.uk for sending this case in for review. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video, and all the parts featured in this review will be linked down below. The Fantex Eclipse P600S is a mid-tower case that's 52cm in height, 51cm in length, and 24cm in width. It comes in three different colours, black, grey and white. I was given the white version to review. At first, I wasn't a big fan of the colour, but now I prefer it because it doesn't stand out as much, especially if you have white walls. The front of the case looks really cool. It looks like it's part of a spaceship. The overall design has an industrial sci-fi feel to it. For I.O., it has ports for two USB 3.0, USB-C Type-C, a reset button, microphone, and headphone. One of the key design points about this case is that it has these removable panels, one on the top and one on the front. Behind the panels is Fantec's new high airflow fabric mesh made from highly breathable technical textile which they claim allows even more airflow pass-through than traditional mesh panels. And I got to say, I think the PC case looks better with the mesh exposed. To gain access inside the case, you just simply swing open this tempered glass side panel. And the same goes for the other side for the cable management area. And as for the other key selling point of this case, is that it has a lot of soundproofing material built in, like on this side panel. And this rubber lining should keep the dust out, as well as dampen the sound. And I love this magnetic feature that closes the case. Removing both the side panels couldn't be any easier. You just simply swing open the panel and lift up. And surprisingly, this mid-tower PC case can fit two systems inside. It has enough room in the top left to fit an ITX build. But in the main frame of the case, you can fit all the motherboards. So that would be an E80X, an ATX, Micro-ATX, and a Mini-ITX. Here, you have a lot of options for PCI Express. You can mount your graphics card horizontally, or even vertically, because the case does come with a vertical GPU mount. And as you can see, there's enough room inside to fit a full-size graphics card. You might be thinking, what are these black plates to the right of the case? Well, they're actually cable covers that allow you to pass your cables through these holes and hide them. There's also one at the bottom too. In terms of cooling, this case comes pre-installed with two 140mm case fans in the front, and it has its own dust filter too. So if you plan to have the front panel on for more of a silent operation, you can rest assured that you'll still be getting airflow through the sides without dust sneaking inside your PC. But of course you can leave the front panel off for maximum performance. At the top, you can see more Fantex special mesh. And below, there's even a dust filter for your PSU. And at the back, there is also another 140mm case fan pre-installed. Overall, this PC case can support up to three 120mm fans at the top, front, and one at the back. And for 140mm fans, you can fit two at the top, three at the front, and one at the back. And for water cooling, at the top, you can fit a 120, 240, or 360mm radiator. Or you can go for a 140 or 280mm radiator. But as you can see, there are plenty of options, so pause the video if you want to have a closer look. On this side, cable management should be a breeze. The layout seems to be well thought out, so it should be really easy to organise your cables. In the top left, the case comes with its own fan hub, which allows you to connect up to three three pin fans or four four pin fans. And to the right, you can install up to three 2.5 inch SSDs or hard drives. I really like the fact that Fantex has given some thought into the cable management because the majority of PC cases only supply you with a few cable ties and they never give you enough either. Whereas in this PC case, they've gone the extra mile and kitted out this side of the PC case with these Velcro straps making it even easier to manage your cables. And when it comes to the accessories, they've even set a high standard for that. The packaging is exceptional, because most times in a lot of PC cases, you would normally get a bag of accessories that tend to be unorganized. Whereas in this kit, you get four additional hard drive cages, a vertical GPU mount and a GPU anti-sag bracket, and a handy box of organized screws. This is how every PC case should package their accessories. So thank you Fantex, you guys are awesome. 
If you want more hard drive storage, you can mount the cages here. They're also stackable. You can install up to four hard drives in this compartment. And on the other side, you can remove these cable covers to install up to six hard drive cages. So in total, you can have up to 10 cages in this PC case, which is really cool if you need a lot of storage. So that was the Fantex Eclipse P600S, a case built to keep your system quiet or maximize performance. Either way, you have a choice. Personally, I prefer performance over noise, as I normally use my PC for gaming and video editing, so it doesn't really bother me. But I guess if I'm recording these voiceovers, the noise dampening features would help. All in all, I think this is a well-designed case, made of good quality materials and packs a lot of features. I can't actually think what I don't like about this case. Even the price is reasonable. It cost $150 in the US and around £130 in the UK, which I actually think is a good price, given the quality of the case. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this PC case in the comments below. Or let me know if you want to see a PC build using this case. If so, what kind of spec would you like to see inside it? That's it for this video guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, share it with a friend who might also like it. And all the parts featured in this review will be linked down below. Thanks again for watching guys, I'm Andy Django and I'll see you in the next video.